and I don't think I've actually heard anyone else say this, but hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be bringing you guys finally my Dyson Airwrap step-by-step -step hair tutorial. I have gotten so many questions about what products I use, how I Dyson Airwrap my hair, how I get my curls to last for three days, and I am gonna be giving you guys the complete rundown in this really easy step-by-step -step tutorial, sharing the products I'm using, the techniques I'm using, the settings I'm using on my Airwrap, and I'm also gonna be checking in with you guys in this video on day two and day three, so you can see how these curls will relax and fall over the next couple of days. But I just did my hair, and this is day one, and this is probably the best I've ever Dyson air wrapped my hair. So I'm really excited. If this is something that you guys are interested in, just keep watching. So this is my hair air dried, and sometimes I will wash my hair at night and let it just dry overnight, although I don't love to sleep with my hair wet. So what I'll typically do in the morning is get back from my workout class, shower, wash my hair, and then let my hair air dry while I make breakfast and while I do my journal in the morning. But this is is basically exactly how my hair air dries. So it's not like stick straight, super fine, but it also doesn't have any sort of wave or curl. I do get my hair colored. And so I think by lightening my hair a little bit over the years, I've gotten some grip in my hair. So I would say my hair with a curling iron holds pretty well. I can typically get my curls to last like three days with a curling iron and so getting my hair to start lasting around that same amount of time was really important for me with this air wrap because I was like I am not spending this much money on a hair tool that I have to use literally every single day or like redo my whole head every single day. So I feel like I've gotten it to a place where I can confidently do my hair and know that it's going to last for the most part at least three days and to me that makes the air wrap feel so much more worth it than having to recurl my entire head of hair every single day. So my hair is a little bit shorter since my Dyson unboxing video. And if you wanna watch my unboxing video of everything that comes with the Dyson Air Up, I'll have that video linked down below in the description box. But since I filmed that video a couple of months ago, I actually went and got my hair cut a little bit. So my curls are gonna look slightly different than that video and in my past like vlogs and stuff since I've gotten my hair cut. But for the most most part, same exact technique, same exact products that I've been using over the last couple of months. So we are gonna go ahead and just start prepping the hair. What I did not realize when I got my Dyson is that the Dyson by itself without the right styling products does not do the job very well. So basically I thought going into getting my Dyson that because my hair holds pretty well with a curling iron, it's gonna hold really well by itself with just like a heat protectant with the Dyson Air Wrap. And that was actually not the case. I think when I filmed my video of the Dyson Air Wrap the first time the unboxing, my curls lasted just that day. And then the next day, they kind of fell flat. And so that was when I was like, okay, you actually have to take the products kind of seriously if you do decide to invest in an Air Wrap. So I've got some products right now that I have been using and I have found that work really well for me. I'm not going to say these are the products that are going to be the absolute best. This is just what I have found works for me and just what I had on hand. So first up is my heat protectant and I spray a little bit of this when I actually get out of the shower because it's also a detangler but this is the prep rally prime and prep detangler from dry bar and you can get this at Sephora I'll have it linked in the description box basically this is a heat protectant and detangler so I spray it when I get out of the shower just a little bit very lightly and then I will end up sectioning off my hair before I get into the styling and I'll spray it on each section and then the other product that I use is the living proof perfect day hair 5-in-1 styling treatment I've seen a lot of people People use a mousse for styling and I think that also could work. I know a mousse is typically a little bit more lightweight. I found that this holds my curls really, really well, almost too well sometimes. And so I've just been using this. I'm almost out of it, so I need to pick up another one of these. But this is from Living Proof and I have just been really liking this. I think this also has a little bit of a heat protectant as well but you can never go wrong with too much heat protectant. And then this is something a little bit random that I've been using just as I have been using the Dyson Airwrap. Even though it doesn't get 
you know, as hot as a curling iron can get, it's still really important to just make sure that if you're styling your hair really frequently, like I am, that you are doing those extra steps to make sure that your hair stays healthy. So I've been using the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex. This is a hair strengthener and I will put this in my hair as it air dries. I'll just put it on the ends to just kind of like protect the ends and try to strengthen my hair. So this is something that I do not during the styling, but something that I do when I get out of the shower. So that is what I do for all my prep. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start sectioning off my hair. I don't do like a ton of sections. I really Really just kind of part it top and bottom and I will go ahead and just twist this up and clip it on top of my head like that then I'm gonna take the prep rally prime and prep detangler and I'm going to spray a pretty decent amount of this onto my hair and then just kind of brush it through with my fingers or you can use a hairbrush. And then I will take the styling cream. This can kind of get out of hand quickly. So I take about this much on my hand and I will work it in from the bottom because I feel like the underneath parts actually don't hold as much as the top, like where it's like colored. So I actually start like underneath and then work it through the top. Of the hair one thing that i found is huge when applying product is applying your product as you start sectioning off your hair because if you do it with your whole head of hair you're really just getting the top of your hair and you're not getting any of these underneath pieces and i feel like these are the pieces that actually fall the quickest another tip is that i have found that this air wrap holds a lot better when I do my hair completely dry. So I think when I filmed my unboxing video, I had done my hair, or I started using the air wrap when my hair was like 90% dry. It was still a little bit damp to the touch. And I noticed that because it was still just the slightest bit wet, it actually didn't hold as well as I liked. And I've, I've been experimenting with lots of different combinations. And I've even done you know a combination where I use all these products and I apply them really liberally but they still don't hold as much as when my hair is like completely dry so that's why I like to shower at night let my hair completely dry or like shower in the morning and then give myself time before I start air wrapping until it's completely dry so that's just one tip that I have found if your hair is like slightly damp while you're air drying at least for me I think the weight of it still being slightly slightly damp actually just makes the curls fall so maybe try having your hair completely dried. So after I've got all the product in, I am gonna just start air wrapping. In my video of the unboxing, I actually used the larger barrel and I love the look of the larger barrel. Obviously the curls are a lot softer, a lot looser, a lot like more blown out than they are really curled. However, if you are wanting your air wrap curls to last for days, I think that you should be using the smaller barrel because I've tried, like I said, so many different combinations where I've done the exact same prep the exact same products hair completely dried where I've gone in with this barrel on like the highest heat setting and just because the barrel is larger your curls are gonna fall a lot more than if you're using something that's gonna just wrap them tighter so even though your hair is gonna be a lot curlier in the beginning by day three your curls are gonna relax really really nicely and using the smaller barrel I feel like is the key to actually having your air wrap curls last for days. So the settings on my air wrap are the highest fan setting and the highest heat setting. And like I said, I've been playing around with this and I actually don't use the cool shot button. And I don't think I've actually heard anyone else say this, but for me, I've actually found that one, this saves a lot of time, but two, my curls hold better when I don't use the cool shot button. I found that when you are constantly heating up the barrel and then cooling it down immediately, for the next time that you heat up the barrel, it takes longer, but then also I feel like the barrel doesn't get as hot. So by the time that you have wrapped that second piece of hair after you've done the cool shot, the barrel doesn't get up to the temperature that you need for it to actually hold the curl, if that makes sense. So I have found that my hair holds better if I just keep it on all the heat settings and I have it wrapped and then I'm just really careful to shut the air wrap off and release it instead of doing the heat cool shot and then release I just do the heat and release so I don't know if anyone else has found this if you for some reason are an expert at the air wrap and you're watching this video 
and you have found the same thing, please let me know because when I was going through the Dyson website and then watching all these other tutorials, everybody was like, you have to use the cool shot button to set your curls. And it made sense to me when I did it. I was like, oh yeah, you wanna like completely cool them down and then release it. But then by the next curl that I was doing, the air wrap couldn't get up to temp. And I think that's actually what kept my curls from holding is that it actually wasn't getting warm enough. So this is just what I do. I'm not saying that this is like the correct way. In fact, Dyson on their website says that you should use the cool shot button, but this is how I've been doing it. And it saves me a lot of time and it still works. I get the same results basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start. I have noticed too that your curls will hold a lot better if you work in smaller sections. One thing that a lot of people try to do with their air wrap is work in big sections. And this is not a tool for speed. It's just, it's not. So I would say the best way to get your curls to last is by taking your time, working in small sections, and just being really adamant about getting the curls correct the first time. Because if you don't and they are already starting to fall, they're definitely gonna fall by day two. So it's all about curling the heck out of them the first day. <laughs> Really, the curlier the better the first day because you want them to kind of fall over the next couple days and I like to hold my hair here and start it more towards the ends and really get the ends curled and then you turn it off and release it be really gentle because obviously your curls are still warm also as you guys saw you really want to create tension in the air wrap so you're not gonna spin the air wrap up but you are going to start at the bottom and then just slowly bring it up and back down and that's what creates that tension. really important also to make sure that you turn your air wrap off before you release the curl because if you don't your curl isn't going to fall into the perfect form it's going to start like spiraling as you're trying to pull your air wrap through so make sure that you turn off the device before you pull the curl through i feel like i'm also able to work each section a little faster because I'm not using the cool shot button, I don't have to wait for the air up to get back up to temp to actually curl the hair. I also really like to curl my pieces away from my face. So when I'm doing this side of my head, I'm making sure that the arrow is pointed this way. This is not like a rule. You can curl them towards your face if you want, but this is how I've been doing it. So this is what the curls look like and I'm not going to touch them, I'm not going to brush through them, I'm just going to keep them back like that, let them fully cool and I'm going to do this side of my head and I'm going to flip the arrow to the other side now to curl this direction. Also if you want to see what the larger barrel looks like as far as like how it styles and what the waves and curls look like for the larger barrel. I'll have my unboxing video, like I said, down below. And in that video, I use the larger barrel. are the curls and it's gonna feel very pageant feeling they're pretty tight right now but you do not want to touch them at all so I'm gonna take a styling finishing spray this is from living proof you can also just take your favorite hairspray and while they are cooled I'm going to just spray a little bit on the ends here 
And depending on you know how much hold you really need, you might want to use an actual like strong hold hairspray instead of a finishing spray, but I really like kind of the softness that the finishing spray gives me. So I'm gonna just leave these alone. Like I said, we're not gonna brush through them. We're not gonna run our fingers through them. We're just gonna leave them. And I'm gonna take a little scrunchie here. This is one of those spiral scrunchies. You can also use a silk hair tie. And once your bottom layer is 100% cool, we're just going to take it like this and go one time through it just to hold it in place while we work on the top section of our hair. Sometimes I like to do my makeup like halfway, air wrap the bottom section and then finish off my makeup while the bottom section is cooling and then go in and do the top section. So I like to kind of pace it out. Like I said, the air wrap process is not a quick process, but I'm gonna take this top section down now and I'm actually gonna just divide it in half where my part is. It doesn't have to be exact, but we want like a right and a left side. And then I'm gonna take one side here, twist it up and again, taking this clamp, clamp it out of the way. And it's funny because I always work on this side of my hair first. It's just, I've always done this for years, start on my left side. I don't know why. Leave me a comment down below if you're the same way. If you just have like a routine that you have with curling your hair. Taking the same prep spray, applying a pretty generous amount. And I'm just gonna brush that through. And then I'm going to take my styling cream pretty decent amount of styling cream. And like I said, we're gonna start it from underneath and then work it through the top. I found that when I just worked it on top, the bottom layers were falling, but not only that, because I put most of the product on the top of my hair, my hair was starting to feel a little too grippy and a little too like, a little crunchy, if that makes sense, with using a styling product. You really want it enough to like actually hold the curl, but you don't want too much to where it gets a little like crunchy or sticky feeling. So it's all about figuring out what your sweet spot is and depending on your hair too, you might need a little more. You might not need as much. If your hair is like thicker than mine, you might want to go a little heavier. It all just depends on like what your hair needs. You just will land on something that works for you. So you can take what you want from this video and you can leave what doesn't work for you from this video. So we're gonna switch it back to this side because we're curling in this direction away from the face. And same thing, we're gonna work in small sections, not using the cool shot, and we're just gonna air wrap our hair. One reason that I feel like I noticed the cool shot doesn't work as well for me is because whenever I would start air wrapping my hair, the first curls in the back here would never hold. And I think it's because my air wrap was going from completely cooled, not used, to trying to get up to temp. And so when I was thinking, oh my gosh, those ones always fall the fastest because it's not getting hot enough. I was thinking if I'm cooling it down every single time between every single curl, is the air up actually getting up to the temp that I need it to be at to curl my hair? So that's something that I noticed is that when you're doing these first back sections, if your air up has been off, keep it on there just a little bit longer so that it gets fully up to temp. Dyson website, they said that you should hold it on there for 15 seconds and then 15 seconds with the cool shot button. And I was like, that is so long because it has to take that long to get up to temperature, which I feel like Dyson actually might come after me for saying this, but I just don't think you need the cool shot button. So for 
are these front pieces. I actually will air wrap these. In the beginning when I first got this, I was like, I'm gonna round brush them with the round brush attachment. And then I actually found that air wrapping them kind of gets the same look. So I only hold it on these like front pieces for a split second because I don't want them to be too curly, but I do want them to have some sort of like wave to them. So I'll just take whatever pieces are in front and I will just let them wrap for just a little bit. And again, we're just not gonna touch them. We're just gonna let everything hang out. So while this is cooling, I'm going to give it a little bit of a spray here, very lightly. And then while this is finishing cooling, I'm gonna do this side of my hair. And since I did it section by section, I'm gonna go in with the spray again, the cream. Flipping the air up back to this side and starting in the back here, small sections. looks kind of crazy but you just have to trust the process this side is done and I'm going to do the same thing do a little gentle spray Woo, it's getting a little cloudy up in here from the spray okay so my other hair tie oh I took it out I was like did it fall out it got lost in all the hair we are going to make sure that these are very very cooled if they're even remotely warm it's not gonna work as you guys can see We've got some really, really tight curls. I call this stage of the hair the poodle hair or the pageant hair. You have to go through this to get really good day two and day three. I mean, your day one hair will also look amazing. You will get compliments on it. It looks incredible. But the first day is a little intense. You just got to roll with it and just remember that day two and day three are going to be amazing. We're letting these cool all the way cool right now would be a good time to pick out your outfit so you can start to like incorporate your dyson routine into your getting ready routine your makeup your outfit all that stuff you have to work very slowly and very patiently with the air wrap so we're like almost there i really do feel like it's pretty much oh uh, this side might just be slightly warm and i don't want to risk it so i'm just gonna give it just a little bit more time it's gonna look so good though once we like brush it out a little bit. Now is a good time to check the back of your hair. Just make sure you didn't miss any sections or any pieces that you see that are already kind of falling flat. I think we're good. I really took my time with this one and I find that the more I take my time and like don't rush through the process of it, the better they hold and the better it looks. I mean, but that's like whenever I'm curling my hair with a curling iron as well, but they are pretty much there. So this is where you get to brush through your curls and you do it very gently. You just want to soften them and kind of like form them into each other. So they're not like distinctive ringlets. They're more like a beautiful, like soft curl. Oh, it looks so good though. And we'll do this side very gently. Like so. Now this is where you can choose to use a hair oil or not. If you find that your hair drops curls so fast, I would say skip this step, not necessary for you. It could weigh down your hair and you could just end up with your curls kind of falling. But if your hair is kind of more like mine and it just holds really well and you wanna add a little bit of like smoothness to your hair, I would recommend doing a hair oil after you brush the knot very gently and then running this through with your fingers. This is from Kerastase and I use the smallest amount. I mean like the size of a dime and I rub it all between my fingers. You don't want any like thick clump of oil. You really just want it to be like a very light brushing over the hair. And I like to go from underneath and just pull the pieces apart with my fingers, kind of getting the top of the hair, smoothing down anything like that. The front, I really like to make sure that I get the front pieces 
And that is basically it. How incredible does this look? So bouncy, so voluminous, and I'm gonna check back in with you guys tomorrow and the next day so you can see day two and day three hair. Typically, during the next days, the only pieces that I will touch up are my bangs because I put my hair up in a bun and then I will like sometimes do these like front pieces and if something's really, really bad, I'll curl one or two pieces like in the back. But for the most part, the rest will go untouched and this will start to fall, you guys will see over the next couple of days. Okay, just popping in here really quick before I go to bed, it's the end of the day and it's the same day curls you can see they have fallen really really nicely and for the most part they won't fall too much past this but i'm gonna put my hair up in a loose bun and all i do is i flip my hair over and i gather it all on the top of my head and i take a scrunchie and i just very gently pull it through one time like that it's not the cutest thing, but it holds the curls pretty nicely without deforming them. And then in the morning, I will probably just have to touch up the pieces around my face, but you guys will see that in a second. Good morning, it is the next day. So day two hair, and I actually just got back from my Pilates class. So this morning I got up, put my hair in a ponytail, slept in it in the bun, but I put my hair in a ponytail this morning with a silk scrunchie, went to Pilates class, and then came home, just washed my face and put on my skincare. So I'm gonna show you guys where the hair is at on day two. This is just straight out the ponytail. And I did actually brush my hair this morning after I took it out from the bun. I brushed it really gently and then threw it up in the ponytail. So. You can see it's like really relaxed and it has fallen ever so slightly, but we still have that kind of blown out look. I'm going to take my air wrap and the same smaller barrel and just do these pieces here in the front. These front pieces cool. I'm brushing them out. This is basically where it will be at today. But it still looks really, really good, really full, really voluminous, and it's just like that Dyson curled look. All right, good morning. It is day three, and I meant to check in with you guys last night, but <laughs> I got back from dinner and then I went to bed immediately because this morning we are leaving for our anniversary trip and so that is why I look like my face is so puffy. I literally just woke up, threw some makeup on really quick and we're about to leave, but I did not want to forget to show you guys the hair for day three. So I did the same bun and I'm going to just kind of let it start to fall after being up all night. This is the hair, day three. Very bouncy still, very voluminous. I'm gonna do these front sections here again. So I'll let these cool before I brush through them again. I could probably get away with going up to day four with these curls. The reason I said day three is typically by day four, I'm loading up with dry shampoo. My hair just itself feels kind of gross, so I'll throw it up in a ponytail or something, or like a half up, half down situation. So after day two, your curls are gonna last the same through like day three and really day four. Really quick, this is what it looks like completely brushed out so you guys can see. I haven't put any dry shampoo in it yet, but. Still very soft, kind of blown out looking. 
but that is exactly how I Dyson Air Wrap my hair, my Dyson Air Wrap hair routine, and all that good stuff. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if any of these tips or products ended up solving your Dyson Air Wrap problems. I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button, but I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys.